Good day, students, and also to the all listeners. So we have our quarter three, week one, and week two, mathematics nine. So our topic for week one is quadrilaterals. A uh, quadrilateral is a closed plane figure consisting of four line segments or sides. These sides may or may not be congruent and parallel. Quadrilaterals can be named by their vertices. The order of naming the vertices is important. The general quadrilateral shown above can be named A, B, C, D or B, C, D, A or C, D, A, B or D, A, B, C but not A, C, B, D or B, D, A, C Okay? Copy? Nga nung man A, C, B, D or B, D, A, C So, kinahalan ang iyang arrangement is uh, consecutive. So, kung imong nabantayan, sunod na siya. Dili ka pwede uh, opposite to opposite. Okay? So, remember, kinahalan sunod. From point A, B, C, D, or A, D, C, B. Okay, maklaro diha sa explanation. Okay, next. Vertices A and D are consecutive vertices. Meaning, sunod. Okay? Consecutive vertices sunod. Now, next. Vertices A and C are opposite vertices. So, the word opposite, that means at bang. Okay? Then, next, two sides with a common vertex like side AD and side AB are consecutive sides. So, we have these sides. A, D, the sides, and A, B. So, they are consecutive sides. Otherwise, they are opposite sides. Like side A, B, and side D, C. Okay, now, let's move. Two angles with a common side. Like angle A, and angle B are consecutive angles. So, just like as kato ang mention sa there is a side, so same lagi hapo na there is a angles. So, we have consecutive sides and also consecutive angles. Otherwise, they are opposite angles like angle A and angle C. Okay, they are opposite sa angles. The segment joining opposite vertices of the quadrilateral like A, C, and B, D are called its diagonals. So now, in the figure below, A, B, C, D is a convex quadrilateral while 
KLMN N is a non-convex quadrilateral. So, as shown as the figure below, so na ata the example con convex and non-convex. So, just remember, a quadrilateral is convex if and only if its diagonals intersect. So, we Kung mag-draw ta og diagonal sa convex, so, the two segment should be intersect at a common point. Okay. While the non-convex, if you draw a diagonal, so, question mark. Because, if we connect point K to M, so, outside. Naasa gawa. So, meaning dili sila magkatagbo. So, let's have now the assessment in the quadrilateral below name the following so we have now the quadrilaterals p q r s so now for number one four pairs of consecutive vertices so imong pangitaan ang upat kaparisan na consecutive okay vertices na okay let's have number two Two pairs of opposite vertices. Duha kaparisan ng opposite vertices. Okay. Next, number three. Four pairs of consecutive sides. So, kung wala, gya po ninyo makuha, pwede ra to i-review to sa previous nga slides. Kaya, at to mo makakuha sa inyo. Kung na po naglibog -lib pa mo answer Okay, number four, two pairs of opposite sides. That means, duha kaparisan nga magkaatbang nga sides. Number five, four pairs of consecutive angles. Number six, two pairs of opposite angles. And the last one, a pair of diagonals. So, we will have now uh, the next, draw a, quadri a quadrilateral home, H-O-M-E, and name the vertices, sides, angles, and diagonals of quadrilateral, H-O-M-E. So, let's have now week two, the parallelogram and its properties. Let us recall the definitions of the different kinds of quadrilaterals. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides. So, naatay figure dere nga side. So, imo nang makitaan kung paralleg parallelogram or not. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Okay, na napun sa figure sa side. Next, a rhombus is a parallelogram with all four sides congruent. So, imuntan aon ang sides sa figure, they are congruent or equal. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So, common o pat ka right angles imo makit an so this is a rectangle a square is a rectangle with all four sides are congruent so masabtan na nato sa definition sa kada usa okay next a quadrilateral can have two pairs of opposite sides which are parallel so mao ni ang mga sample Nga quadrilateral si makita each of the quadrilaterals below has two pairs of parallel sides. Quadrilater uh, quadrilaterals love, kind, care, and wise are parallelograms. Now we have the properties of parallelograms. So na mga properties. There are five. One, opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. 
Example, angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent angles. And also, angle 4 and angle 2. Okay, next, we have two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. That means supplementary, it meets your angles of 180 degrees. So just like as the figure below, uh, side, angle 1 and angle 3 are supplementary. And also angle 2 and angle 4. Okay, next, number 3. Each diagonal of a parallelogram divides the parallelogram into two congruent sides. So, uh, congruent triangles, I mean. So, we have here the figures A, B, C, D. So, if we can draw a diagonal B, D. So, there are two triangles are formed. We have triangle A, B, D. And triangle B, D, C. So they are congruent triangles. Next, number four. Two opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So we have side A, B, and side D, C. Or side a d and side b c next number five the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other so we have the figure r o s e so if we can draw a diagonals diagonal r s and diagonal o e bisect its other that means intersect there are uh, there is an intersection of point t so by bisect that means there are two sides are congruent so example r t are congruent to t s and also o t is congruent to T E. So let's have now our assessment. Tell whether the statement is true or false. Okay, so read carefully. Then also understand so that you can get the correct answer. Okay, that's all. Thank you and God bless everyone.